I realized throughout my uh, it's eternity of doing Juice World content, there's some really bad takes in the Juice World community. You know what I'm saying? In the 999 community, we got some really bad takes. And today, I ask you guys to give me your most unpopular unpopular to give me your most unpopular juice world takes whether that be music or just juice world in general give me your worst takes so today we're going to be scavenging and going into these horrible takes these uh unpopular opinions they're not necessarily bad takes i guess but they're going to be unpopular opinions if you want to be a part of this stuff go follow us up on twitch i'm live almost every day leave a like if you like uh juice world content you know what i'm saying hey 999 gang we we here bro let's get it we have 69 responses <laughs> okay the first one we got chat they said juice world would be on drake's level if he was alive in a year or two uh i don't mm. do y'all agree with this hold on i'm gonna do a poll i'm gonna do a poll i'm gonna let y'all choose i'm gonna let y'all choose chat i'm gonna see what y'all gonna say yeah i think it's cap i don't think i think people are underestimating how big drake is like drake is really big and don't get it messed up we all know I love Juice World, but to say that Juice World in two years would be as big as Drake, and it took Drake like multiple decades, then didn't it? Like this is a crazy take. Let me know if y'all agree in the comments below. How many years do y'all think Juice World would take to reach Drake's level? So y'all y'all saying like six? Most people are saying like six. Dang, I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty fast. So y'all think Juice World is gonna reach Drake's status? within like one third of the time it took Drake to reach Drake's status. That's crazy. Big is underrated, five million views. I mean, I guess black and white is better than any unreleased. Whoa, nah, 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 chat. How are we feeling about this? Considering black and white isn't even his best release, since he said prove him wrong, we gonna play something on stream. I can't play it on YouTube though, cause of copyright. So that's why I should come over to Twitch. What song do y'all think is better than black and white? I can't agree with this. I'm not gonna. I can't agree with this. I cannot. I can't. I nay. I I shan't. I shan't agree with this. Juice World is the best artist of all time. All right. This is meat writing, chat. When I say y'all be meat writing, this is what I'm talking about. Juice World is the best artist of all time. His music has got me through a lot of stuff in life, and it is one of the things that bring me happiness when I get when I'm at my lowest. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of D-writing. Saying he's your favorite artist is cool. That's a different sentence, that's a different statement. But the best artist of all time. How old do y'all think the person is that uh that commented this? I would say Juice World had the potential to be the best artist. He had the potential, I agree to that. But to say he was the best artist, mm, I don't know about that, bro. I ain't gonna lie, y'all forgot who Michael Jackson is. Like, he, he dead ass had girls in his crowd just fainting over him, bro. His best song is Real Shit. Bro, Real Shit is not in his top five songs, not in his top 10 songs. It's probably not even in his top 20. What top song do y'all think real shit is from Juice World? I'm saying maybe, maybe top, if we talking about released, maybe top 50. Yeah, top 100, definitely. Cause I'm like, top 15 for you? I don't know, that's crazy, bro. There's so many other good songs, bro. My personal unpopular Juice World opinion, Goodbye and Good Riddance is the best album ever created. That's my unpopular opinion. I think Goodbye and Good Riddance as an album, it has no skips. It is the best album to ever be created. Well, from 2016 and on at least. He doesn't just have sad music. If you explore all of his songs, he is uh, diversified throughout his songs. Most of them, including hype, sad, and many more. He made a majority of sad music, but he made a lot of hype music, a lot of lyrical music. The labels just pushed out and released the sad stuff because that's what people wanted to hear. But that's why a lot of his hype stuff is unreleased because they just didn't drop it. The labels only released the stuff that they think the mainstream wanted. You know what I'm saying? So this is a good take. This is a good take. I like this take. Singing Juice versus Rapping Juice. I love when Juice World started mumbling, bro. I don't know why, bro. Like, I know people like, ew, it's mumble rap, bro. When Juice World mumbles, that's a different type, bro. I don't know, bro. They just hit different, bro. Would have made better music if he didn't freestyle everything. Lucid Dreams was pre-written. I guess, but you can say this for anybody that freestyles a song. So I guess I, I understand the premise. Hard Work Pays Off is his best song. Whoa, buddy. All right, uh, chill out. You got to hold your horses on that one. That is a crazy take. That is the craziest take I've ever heard. He said top 150, baby. Just what I'm saying. I, got, I can't get down with this opinion. In my opinion, I can't get down with this opinion. Emo teen music. Whoa. First of all, sir, I'm 23 years old and I love his music and I am not emo. Y'all know I'm, bro, y'all see me, bro. I be happy. I be cheering, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not emo. The B in these is a B from S to F. Oh, so he's saying the first part of the bee's knees is good 
and then the transitioning is amazing, and then the last part is horrible. I, I, I understand this. I ain't gonna lie, the transitioning is, is amazing. Cause the transition, that's when he mumbles, right, chat? Like I said, when he mumbles, it's a different thing. It's just different, bro. Ali caused the death of Juice Bro. I'm not gonna lie, I don't agree with this. You are a hundred percent in charge of yourself. No other person can cause your death. So I don't agree with this. Did she necessarily help with the matter? No. On God is top three Juice songs. Oh, brother. He's better by himself on songs than features. I do agree, but I'm gonna take it a step further. He's better as a feature on most songs than the actual person he's featuring for. There's one song that I will say I think Juice got carried in, in my opinion. Lucid Dreams is his worst song. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You're just saying that because it's his biggest song. I hate people that do this. If this song wasn't overplayed, yeah, I would probably think this is, realistically speaking, minimum top 20 songs. You're just trying to be different. It's okay, bro. You probably like nine years old. You mad that everybody likes the song that you would have loved. That's all, bro. That's all it is. Hey, chat, what do y'all think is Juice World's worst song? In the comments below on YouTube, tell me. What do y'all think is Juice World's worst song? Not necessarily a bad song, but probably his worst song. I'm Still is his best release song? Mm, I, no, I don't agree. I don't agree, but it's a valid opinion. You see what I'm saying? If y'all get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. Release songs are better than most unreleased. If you want to hear my opinion on this, you should go watch the video where I had the chat play his release music versus his unreleased music. The chat got down to the bottom of which one was truly better and you will be surprised on the outcome. That's all I'm gonna say. Ali Lottie has a fa- uh, if you're interested in seeing if this is a fact or a cap, I do have a video where I bought her OF, so you can go check that out if you want. He's good at best, not perfect. I mean, who is perfect though? Is there any artist y'all would say is perfect, chat? Man said ye. Yeah, you're weird. Autograph is mid? Bruh, monkey. What is up with you, monkey? What's wrong with you, bro? Bruh, I think you're mid. Blood on my jeans is better than wishing will. Hey, whoever this is, whoever put this in here, I agree with you. I'm standing on this hill with you. The chat don't agree, but I don't care about the chat, bro. I'm standing on this hill with you, bro. Oh, Juice World, Juice the Kid, barely had any good songs. He sucked. Uh, dancing the moonlight all, oh, dancing the moonlight all. Oh. After that one song alone, I can't agree, bro. Clever carried Ring Ring. I'm gonna be real. I think whoever made this, I just think you're fat. And when he mentioned, uh, when Clover mentioned Postmates, I think you just related to that on a spiritual level. Robbery is his worst song. You're lucky this is anonymous because I would have boomed you out of the chat, bro. Juice World is ass. He is a hundred times better. Like who the fuck listens to Juice World? That's what y'all think is better than Juice World. To each their own, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can like what y'all like, chat. She's the one is his best song. I disagree, humbly though. Bad role model for younger generation. Yeah, he's not a good role model for the younger generation. Okay, if he's a good role model, chat, why is he a good role model? He makes me happy. Okay, he makes you happy isn't doesn't make him a good role model, bro. Freestyling is good. Bro, why, what does this freestyling have to do with him being a role model? A person can have good, good messages, but still not be a good role model. If you're looking up to Juice World as a role model, you probably need to find a better role model in your life, bro. I'm not gonna lie. He's, he's a good person. You can be a good person and be a bad role model. He's not a good role model. Tell Me You Love Me is the best Juice World and Trippy song. Is he forgetting 1400 999 freestyle? Like, bro, what? Should have left the kid Leroy in Austria. Nah, this comment is crazy. Is, is, is this racist? Is this racist? Like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, dog. This comment is crazy. Flaws and Sins is hella underrated, bro. Don't that song got like 40 million views? Death Race for Love has some of his best songs, but his worst overall album. I feel like Death, Death Race for Love has really good songs and songs that I don't like. Whereas Goodbye Good Riddance has songs that I really love and songs that I'm okay with that I, I still like. Fighting Demons, a majority of that album, I don't like personally. And then Legends Never Die, I like a majority of the songs, like they're okay. And then there are some songs that I just don't necessarily mess with. Future ruined every Juice Bro song that he's in. He's so trash. Fine China could have been top 15 songs if Future was not in it. Juice's label is killing his music. They don't drop his best songs. I oh my god, please. This why did it take 78 people to finally say this, bro? 
I've been speaking this, bro. All right, y'all. So look, we've seen some very crazy takes in the comments below. Tell me, what do you guys think was the craziest take? I I've seen some crazy takes in my days. And y'all takes are insane, bro. I'm not going to lie. Do y'all think there was more bad takes and more bad opinions than good opinions? Let me know in the comments. It's your boy Biscuit. Go follow us up on Twitch because we be, we be doing this, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Biscuit. I love y'all, bro. And uh, yeah, we out.